Rupert Bear Helps David's Dream Come True by Dave Clark from the 60s, Rebecca Clark's Daddy Narrated by David Clark This is a true story of how Rupert Bear formed a band in order to help David's dream come true. The song, Spirit of the Lord, was originally composed as a song of thanksgiving to the Lord for his wonderful kindness in delivering David from despair. However, this song provoked jealousy in the one whom David loved, and so, can you remember, was composed, which turned to provoke the Lord to jealousy. 1 Corinthians 10.22 Rupert is a lovely bear. He's always kind and always fair. In the land where Rupert comes from, there's love and joy and happiness. When David was a little boy, he told his dream to Rupert Bear. Rupert always lends a hand to help his friends and strangers too. When David was a little boy, he told his dream to Rupert Bear. This dream must come to pass and with my help, we'll make it last. Can you help me form a band and help to sing this song to all around? Rupert asked the Gollywog if he would join David's band and sing. After listening to the song, he says, No, I just like reggae. Rupert asks his girl guide friends, I need someone to play the lead. It must be someone wild and strange, so they direct him to the wood. The spiky thing turns round and asks, and says, I'll play if I like the sound. Enraged, the creature cries, I can't sing that. I just like grunge. So Rupert to the field returns and hears a rather scary sound. Will you play the lead in Davy's band as you make such scary sounds? We need someone to sing, someone true and is in love. Perhaps you two can help, there must be someone known to us. I will ask the Lord above to send the one to sing this love-struck song. Are you the chosen one to sing, asks Rupert, when he meets his friend? Edward Trunk was asked to sing, but he was just a bit too loud. David will have to sing this song alone. It is his song and is his dream. I want to sing this lovely song. It's in my heart, it's in my soul. I'll make this song of yours work like magic, wait and see. You are just the one we need. Will you come and play the lead? After listening to the song, the scare man agrees but says, I don't like cheese. The scare man knows just who will do and points out Algy Pup to you. Algy chooses Podgy Pig to give them rhythm at the gig. Even though you can't sing, if there's love, the song will work. David's band was formed by Rupert Bear. The song they make has special powers. Now the band is ready, so Rupert gives them all directions. Into the Matrix they must go, and enrol at Fairham College. The famous four end up in David's classes, in ES2 where it all started. Rupert bids them all farewell and climbs back into the land of dreams. In the land where Rupert was, not everyone was pleased about the song. PC Plod encouraged Rupert, saying, There's no law against love. He tries to take away Rupert's magic to stop the song from being sung. Grunge is best, give me those mushrooms instead. But David's love and inspiration triumphed over all that evil. David sang that lovely song to his loves on Christmas Day. The guides all knew about Rupert's magic, and they just smiled at Rupert's trousers. Love, says Rupert, is the triumph of the imagination over intelligence. The moral of the story. Love is a gift from God, and when one knows the love of God shed abroad in the heart, it cannot help but be expressed. The love of a man for a woman produces the same sense, and it too needs to be expressed. The problem comes 
when the one love has to compete with the other, which only occurs if someone is provoked to jealousy. Now listen to the two songs, Spirit of the Lord, followed by Can You Remember? And tell me, which song provoked jealousy, in who and why? The four friends from Rupert's Land joined ES2 and formed the band. They are not agents from the Matrix, but sent to, sh to share this song abroad, to free the captives and set them free. They are just friends of Rupert Bear. They all live in God's Portland. They are Mike Fisher, bass, Algie Pup, Toby Bennett, drums, Bill Badger, Phil Richer, lead, the scare man, Mark Rogers, rhythm, Hodgy Pig, the spiky thing, nasty creature, this could be you, David Clark, 25th of December 2003.